on Saturday, January 9th. Again, the moon will have moved into the Sagittarian energy, and this is a huge release. It's much lighter, much more playful than the previous days while the moon was in Scorpio. When the moon is in Sagittarius, we are on a quest for knowledge and truth. We are tapping into the vision of the future. We are more positive, more optimistic than we have been in previous days. And just to give you a little bit of analogy, if the Scorpio moon has us sitting in our shadow self, sitting in the darkness, the light at the end of the tunnel is this Sag moon. This is where we see the light at the end of the tunnel. And now that the moon is fully in Sagittarius energy by 7 a.m., we are going to have a full day of being very, very confident now, very hopeful, very positive, very, very much fixated on the bigger picture, whereas the time that we just spent in the Scorpio moon was had tunnel vision on some very obsessive thinking on some very dark emotions and dark thoughts. Now, on Saturday, we have a lot of new moon aspects as well. The interesting part here is again, this is a higher, more playful energy. We connect with our higher self while the moon is in Sagittarius. Our intuition is definitely more on point and more stimulated than previous days. We have Jupiter making an aspect with the true node, which is going to amplify for us the path forward. Give us a little bit of clarity. Really zoom in on the bigger, grander picture that we're trying to aim for and create and bring to life. The caution that I will throw to you is that we can be a little bit extra. We can take on too much. We can bite off more of a vision than we're actually able to accomplish. Our emotions can be a little bit overwhelming as well. And so even though we are being set up for some positive energy, we can be a little bit too positive. We can be a little bit too excited. There is such a thing, and that is borderline manic and borderline illusion. So we want to make sure that we keep into reality here. Lucky for us, with the sun still in Capricorn, making us very grounded, making us very realistic, making us very focused on the roles and responsibilities that we have to kind of complete before we can get to that grand vision, we're not going to be able to float too far away from our current reality. Venus will be trining Mars. So Venus, newly in this Capricorn energy, Mars, newly in this Tauran energy, both Earth signs, we're very, very focused on what it is that we need to do, taking action, logical, practical action in our day-to-day -day lives in order to create foundations, systems, structures, routines, that are going to benefit strengthening the areas of our life that we need to really make sure are going to be strong enough for us to actually bring the greater, grander vision to life. So, of course, Venus, very focused on taking care of business in relationship, in money matters, and in planning, setting new goals for the future. And Mars, of course, ruling over, trying to get one step at a time. Instead of taking four steps forward, we just want to take one baby step at a time. We want to really just put one foot in front of the other. We want to get a focus on our basic needs, our basic wants, our basic desires. We want to tap into our new passions, our new excitement, but we do not want to get ahead of ourselves. This is going to be a frustrating energy for a lot of people because again, Mars just wants to push us forward. And in all this earth energy, we can't move that fast. We have to make sure that we take the time to create the proper foundations, the strong foundations that we're going to need in order to actually manifest and create the new reality in which our vision is aligning us with. So Mercury will also be in a prime position to be an alignment with Saturn. So Saturn very much in this Aquarian energy, Mercury moves way faster through the signs than Saturn ever will. And Mercury is going to come up to the exact same point in the cosmos sitting beside on top of 
Saturn. Saturn is about restriction. And so where Mercury is focused on the mental plane and ideas and visions and, and bringing information in and communicate, communicating those perspectives and that, you know, information outwards, we're definitely going to see where it is that we have to hit a brick wall. So earlier, like I said, with Jupiter at play, we tend to bite off more than we can chew. We're, we're dreaming a way too big of a dream that we're likely not going to accomplish. And so by the end of the day, going through these all these energy aspects, that Mercury conjuncting with Saturn is really going to put a realistic approach on what it is that is actually actually reality what can we actually manifest where do we actually have to take one step at a time where is the the heaviness the weight of having to build and create and so we may feel mentally restricted just when we had this huge big dream now we have to refine it be realistic about it kind of put the blinders on and and just see how big that vision actually is and maybe just break it up in small manageable chunks so that we actually can accomplish something here that we're not going to reach defeat too early on in the year and just scrap the idea together so although it is a light, lighter and fluffier energy by the time you know, the end of the night on Saturday comes and we're prepared to move into Sunday, we really are going to feel a little bit more weight, a little bit more restriction on our ideas, on our vision, and really just kind of emphasize for us where we have to get very serious in planning and acting practically and logically and really just getting that grand vision and then refining it. And then imagining, imagine, imagining what that would look like with the new parameters put in play and then refining it even more. So it is a little bit of an ebb and flow, but we're definitely moving into the right kind of energy. It's encouraging. It's supportive. We're definitely futuristically thinking. And then we're bringing all of that hope and dream back into our present moment where we can constructively come up with an idea on how it is that we're going to get there, taking baby steps, one foot in front of the other, one step at a time. So that is your energy forecast for Sunday, January 3rd to Saturday, January 9th. I hope you have a beautiful first week in 2021. And of course, I will be back next Sunday to give you a heads up on all the amazing energy coming to us this week, this month, event by event, so that we can tackle this opportunity to create a new vision and a new reality with as much power as possible. We're going to make it happen. So I hope you have a beautiful week and we'll talk to you soon.